using Skintune. Alright, we switched images over to a portrait image to talk about using Skintune. Skintune is an exclusive technology in Phototune designed to help you remove a color cast from a portrait image or an image that contains skin. If you remember back to using the color mode, there is a gray eyedropper tool that you use to click on gray colors to neutralize the color cast out of an image. Well, in Skintune, you have a similar eyedropper tool that will be selected automatically, and it works the same way, except rather than clicking on a gray color, we want to click on the subject skin instead. When you use Skintune, it's important to make sure you click on the proper tone of skin. We want to avoid highlights, and we want to avoid shadows of the skin. So if we take a look at our subject here, areas we'd want to be careful selecting would be the diffuse highlights on the forehead, as well as on the cheeks and the nose. Those are usually dangerous places to click. The other thing we'll want to avoid would be the darker shadow tones that we see down here, underneath the chin, or on the shadow side of the cheek. A safe place for us to click is going to be one of these mid-tones in the forehead right here. So all you do is click right on the subject's skin. You know, see when we do that, the right hand side, our after image, adjusts automatically. I'm just going to move the dropper magnifier over here for a moment. And you'll see how the image is adjusted. Over in the skin tune pane, we can select the subject's ethnicity from the pop up right here. And by default, it'll use the all library, where it's going to average all the different ethnicities together. You can make it more precise by selecting your subject's ethnicity, in this case, Caucasian. Then down at the bottom, we have a warmth and a hue slider. And we can use the arrow keys to move these around or use the move tool just like we do on our other tools. So by moving up or down, it will increase or decrease the overall warmth of the skin. And shifting it left or right will shift the hue or the tone. And shifting it left or right will adjust the hue or the color of the skin. Now generally, you're going to be making very small adjustments compared to what you've received when you use the eyedropper tool to click on the skin. I'm just going to nudge this down in warmth a little bit, probably to be under 30. And then shifting the hue left or right based on your personal preference. It's going to be a more ruddy skin to the left and more of a yellow skin to the right. Usually something around 15 or 14 is my preference. There we go. There's a couple other controls in skin tune that we want to look at. The first one is the correct skin only option. When this is checked on, it will only adjust the color of the skin in the scene and will leave the rest of the image alone. Now keep in mind in most cases, the color cast that's on the skin is on the rest of the scene. The only time you need to use the correct skin option is when your subject is lit by a different light source than your background. Now at this scene, our subject is lit by the same light, so there's not really a need to use it. There's one other control in Skin Tune that I want to show you, and that's the fade slider. Normally the fade slider is going to be set to zero, meaning that we're using the full amount of the Skin Tune adjustment, but by increasing the fade slider, it'll slowly fade back to the original color, and at 100% we're getting none of the correction. This is a fine tune adjustment that if you find that Skin Tune is overcorrecting your image, you can dial it back a little bit. Most of the time I use it at anywhere between 0 and about 10. Alright, that's about all there is to using Skin Tune. It's very simple. You'll start out with the eyedropper tool, click on a mid-tone of your subject's skin, and then adjust the warmth and hue to match your personal preference. Then if needed, check the correct skin only option. Alright, in our last tutorial for the Pro Mode, we're going to talk about using the Detail tab.